Welcome to the RClim tool video tutorial. RClim tool is an application for temperature and rainfall series analysis. It has been developed within the framework of the SEAT and Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development Agreement, entitled Climate and the Colombian Agricultural Sector, Adaptation for Productive Sustainability. Before using this tool, you should consult the user manual for the data input format. You can find the user manual download link in this video's description. First, you should download and install the R and R Studio software. To launch the application, open the file that contains the code and press the source button in R Studio. A window that contains seven modules will appear. The first module is data reading. Press the change directory button and select the folder in which the temperature and precipitation file is saved. Afterwards, download the maximum temperature data using the maximum temperature button and clicking OK. Select the file containing information about the variable. Press OK and close the window. This procedure should be repeated to upload the files for minimum temperature and rainfall. Continue to the next module. Click on the graphic and descriptive analysis button. This option is subdivided into descriptive analysis, automatic graphics, and custom graphics. In descriptive analysis, you can specify the analysis period that you want. For example, from March 1990 to January 1991. To analyze the full series, leave the data fields blank. Next, choose a variable and click on the descriptive button. You can see the results in the R Studio console interface. In automatic graphics, you can choose the kind of analysis daily or monthly. Then click on plot graphics. A message will appear with the location of the generated graphs. Click OK. This procedure must be repeated for all graph options. For the custom graphics options, you should refer to, user, to the user manual. Remember that the user manual download link can be found in the description for this video. In the quality control module, Select the variable to validate, for example, the Tmax variable. Edit the standard deviations criterion as necessary and enter the variable's range. Press the validate button and a validation window will appear with the state of each season according to the established variable range. Click OK. You can see the criteria for quality control in the R Studio console. By pressing graphics, a message will appear with the location of the graphics generated for a typical data detection. This procedure should be repeated for all variables. Next, the results generated for this section will be verified. In the directory selected originally, you will find the quality control folder with the files containing unreasonable and atypical data for each variable and each season. The missing data folder contains the files obtained after performing quality control. These will be used to fill in missing data. Optionally, you can replace unreasonable or atypical data with NAs. To finalize the quality control module, click on generate pre-report. A window will appear with the file location. In the missing data module, you should fill in the fields initial and final year. Press the complete data button. A window will appear indicating that the process could delay some minutes. It is important to remember that maximum and minimum temperatures and precipitation dates are necessary to perform this function. In module five, First, you must select the parameters to perform the homogeneity analysis. Choose the variable to be analyzed, the desired significance level, and optionally, the analysis period. 
Select a normality test, for example, the Jack Berra test, and click on the QQ norm button if graphics are needed. Choose a trend test, mean stability and variance stability. Click the generate button to produce the results report for this module. The next module performs the indicator calculations. Here you must enter the analysis period and the variable to be analysed, for example Tmax. Enter the interest value for annual indicators and click on the box. Select the monthly indicators. You can see the results in the RStudio console or find them in, in, in the indicators folder. Finally, you can check monthly or quarterly information on ENSO conditions from 1950 to 2013. All results can be found in the directory chosen at the beginning of the analysis. For example, the graphs analysis folder contains all of the graphs generated by the application. For more information, consult the user manual. And remember, the user manual download link can be found in the description for this video. Thank you for your attention.